Hi and welcome to another lesson of the Coffee Script Foundation's course of Rails Karate. In this lesson, we'll be talking about how to work with strings in Coffee Script. Is this is going to be a short, a short lesson, but we are going to talk about strings and give an introduction to the objects in Coffee Script, and also how to, how to find documentation about. The JavaScript objects and methods. Well, I'm in my Cloud9 uh, dashboard. As you can see, it changed a little bit. Okay, so let's get inside of our workspace. So, Coffee Squid Foundations underscore N. So, click open. Okay, here we are in our workspace. Mm, this remained the same user interface so we can keep going well let's start talking about um, that strings are not only a type of data also they are objects it means uh, they have properties S let's talk about the most basic property of a string and it's its length it is its length so I'm going to to leave these let's say variable one that length so length is as its name indicates it's it will indicate the number of characters the string has so let's see if it works uh, let's go preview Oh, well, every time we close our workspace, make sure you are running the command, the command for compile from CoffeeScript to JavaScript. So because the JavaScript code remains the same, so let's run the command. Okay, remember coffee dash o uh, js dash cw and the and the other di directory that is cf make sure you get in of the client directory in order to work the command because you need to indicate where uh, the correct the right location of the directories okay so let's save again and we are compiling to the javascript as you can see so let's run again this save preview okay let's save this this too okay and let's go here let's inspect the element open the console and as you can see well um <coughs> these errors does not mean anything don't worry about it, about them so here we can see the seven so it is in script.js seven line let's see yes we are printing to the console the length of the variable one and if we change the string to something lower let's say this it will update and as you can see now it is six the length property is very really useful for verify that a password has a minimum quantity of characters or verify if a text does not exceed exceed the allowed characters but let's talk about about this dot you're seeing here what does it mean the variable and the string save saved in it is called an object the different types of objects have different types of properties in this case strings have the property length in the course we, we will will be go in depth about this topic about the objects but this will be a, a great introduction to objects and um, for now you just need to know that a dot is used for access properties or functions of the object in the case of the property length it contains a number the number the, the number of characters of the string and same as variables properties are dynamic and can change 
So if you want to know more about what properties all methods does string have, so you can go to the MDN. So here in the article, you will find this link right here. So let's go to this link. And you will see here the documentation for strings. So let's look for some methods we can use. Um, here we have a lot of properties and methods. Um, okay, we have here two lower case. Oh no, this is not. As you can see here, we can see the two lower case. Actually, um, the documentation of the JavaScript MDN here in Mozilla Developer Network uh, is pretty uh, difficult to understand for begin for beginners. So that's why it says stream that pro prototype. Uh, don't worry about it. You just delete this and think about this method only. Only. So let's use it. So we have string and then we call the method. So let's see what happens if we say to up to lower lower case. That's it. We compile. Let's save here again. Uh, let's go. And as you can see, oh well, actually it was it was all lower case. So let's change this to one upper case. And okay. And save here again and let's go and you can see we still get the lower case so um, what do you see uh, that is different in calling this property in the case of length we just called length and that's it but in this case we use parentheses this means that the property we are calling is not um, is not a value it, it, it is a method or a function we'll talk about functions and method in CoffeeScript later on so let's go and search another good method why not look for the opposite so to uppercase as you can see it's basically the same it's basically the same we just we're going to copy this okay and uh, let's use it I'm going to print it below this variable one dot to uppercase and uh, let's see let's go uh, let's see what happens and you see, you can as you can see we get two strings one all lowercase and another one all with capital letters that's it now let's try to make a simple program I'm going to say some string equals to prompt tell me something amazing upper string let's say that we need to do uh, some some string dot to upper case uh -huh. we we add two two explanations points and let's make an alert over case string blah blah hello world uh huh. Ah, here you have you get a shout out program. Uh huh. And that's it. Let's save this. Going to open here. Hello. Hello. That's it. This is great. Now you can see we can call string properties, uh, functions or methods 
within strings and this can be used in any in any place of our program now go to the documentation and look for some great methods you can use or some properties of the strings and tell us in the comments what you found as always don't forget to follow me on Bastion Blandi on Twitter uh, we are at Race Karate also we are on Facebook um, keep an eye on racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and all of our courses and of course Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. In the next lesson, we will be talking about numbers and math, uh, uh, math operations in CoffeeScript. So, see you next lesson. Bye bye.